Okay, part two of evolution. Now, um, about that creature, the Permian explosion, all those organisms were formed and stuff, and Emma, get out of the video! Oh, whatever. Okay, now, now the next step was in evolution was, oh yeah, and then there was land. No creature existed on land yet, but there was still life there. There was the primitive plants and flowers. They thrived with all the sunlight, all the carbon dioxide in the in the air back then, and 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 with no nothing to eat it, eat any of them. So that helped a lot in their survival. But then there was many other organisms and stuff. And then soon creatures started to evolve past that. The giant killer shrimps with eyes, they then, then turned into giant scorp scorpions. There were three types of scorpions in the water back then. You had the giant ones that looked like scorpions. Cute, they ate our fish ancestor with a primitive head, still no jaws, and primitive fins. And a and the tail, finally. This was a bottom feeder. It ate all the bacteria it could find off of the ground. And it predator was, of course, the scorpion. And this scorpion had stingers as big as light bulbs, very deadly teeth, sort of. And this was one of the first creatures that could go on land, actually. And because of these creatures, they got on land, but they were predators, so it didn't matter about the plants at all. So, so that didn't really affect anything. But then there were two other scorpions, one with a, with like a spike sticking out of his mouth, and it flowed up out the water with no legs. And then the other one was about the size of an alligator, looked more like a lobster thing, and had giant claws. This thing was huge and deadly. But the scorpions got used to land. Only the scorpion looking scorpion got used to it. The other ones went extinct. But then our ancestors fish ancestors evolved into the prototype prototype two land dweller. It it grew it finally grew it grew a flat head, more visible eyes for oxygen. It grew some of the, one of the first jaws and teeth. Its fins became stronger and developed arms and, and legs. And then it grew a powerful tail. This was Hynerpotin, one of the first true amphibians. It was, this one was a link between fish and amphibian because it had to stay near the water because of its skin. If it gone any farther, it would die. And through evolution, with no creature to eat any of the plants, they evolved. The earth was covered in vast forests, almost empty. Actually, are empty. And because they were empty, nothing lived in it. Tons of oxygen could be put into the air. This, but this ancestor of ours had a deadly foe. It had not just prototype sharks, also this giant fish that ate prototype sharks, and also this one deadly fish that doesn't have to swallow. It was huge. It had it had really hard skin scales. Instead of teeth, it had massive it had mass, massive bony plates. And then all it had to do was it pray bite and swallow. It was very dangerous. And I'm gonna move the camera. Emma, shut up! Don't need to use mouse yet. Okay, so then our creatures had to evolve. But then there was a major flaw with having this creature on land. If it had to go into the water, it had to lay its eggs in the water. 
and they'll just keep it tied to the water and couldn't explore and evolve. But then a breakthrough happened. Eggs evolved. They grew a hard shell, and then creatures start to truly take over land. It then evolved into the reptile, one of the first reptiles, and it ruled, and it was probably the weakest creature in this world. In this world, bugs ruled. See, the oxygen level used today is 20 percent. Oxygen then was 35. So, and when oxygen rises, bugs come huge, huge because of an oxygen ventilating system thing. And with these huge bugs here, they they ruled the land. You would have spiders the size of humans, human heads. If they existed today, they would probably hunt cats, like our assistant mouse. You would have you have dragonflies as big as eagles. You will have centipedes longer than cars and with a deadly bite, even though they were herbivores. You'd have June flies, flies even bigger than blue jays. You, it was a deadly place. Not just also the weather was deadly back then because of all the Julian. What? But why? I'm staying around. I'm staying around. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here.